G'day mate and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, JD. Um, welcome back to this tutorial, walkthrough, I don't know. Eventually in the next couple of episodes I'll decide a name for the series. Um, but welcome back either way. So, last episode, quick recap. We dug down, we got our bathrooms, our outhouses up and running for our poor little Ghibli dolls. We still need to do more work here. We need a couple more outhouses. We need a couple more wash basins basins and we need to set them to the same direction and also set them both to priority eight so they make sure that they get filled up with clean water as fast as possible we got access to our very first lot of clean water we harvested any natural food that we could access down here um, we also dug up higher to get access into copper um, and at the same time started building up the bedrooms so, the plan for this episode is to finish building out all the bedrooms. Uh, at the same time, try to upgrade to tiles anywhere we possibly can. So, straight away I'm going to do that with a lower priority. Uh, now we're going to bring this all the way to about here. Uh, and all the way out to there. Um, because we want, we, we want a bedroom up and running, we want to get crack into here and harvest all the natural food out of here as well, which we've already set up to do as soon as they can access it. Uh, that's probably four, that's five, that's six. So this is the current job we want done. At the same time, we've got to make sure that no idiots get stuck because duplicates duplicates are ultra smart um, and the other thing we're going to have to look at very very soon is a new source of oxygen because our oxalite here is almost gone we do have some over here in, in this area that we haven't cracked into yet um, just the same as there is some in here that we haven't cracked into this one either so we do need to look at a new source of oxygen fairly soon actually um so yeah, we, we want this tile, these tiles up here built first. After they're done, we'll actually dig out this lower set, put in our cots, and then we should be good to go. Uh, uh, priority. Let's do an eight. I want those two done now. Because once they're done, this would be technically an enclosed room. And we have a room. So now we have a room barracks, a, a room bonus of the barracks until somebody goes digs out another tile. Um, and it becomes too large again. There we go. So we have a room, uh, a, 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 a room with a room bar bonus of being a barracks, which gives us morale bonus. As you can see down the bottom, morale, uh, room, room effects morale plus one. So we've got two cots so far. We obviously need two more. Um, at the same time, priority four, we're just going to dig that out. So when they get it done, they'll build the tile underneath. And we are putting down two cots because our printing pot is going to go off in 0.2 of a cycle and give us yet another duplicate. Uh, we want to crack into there. Okay. So, next thing on the list is power. Uh, oh, actually, research. So, we want a research station. Uh, which actually needs power as well. I was right. Power is going to be important. So, for power, I generally put it down right beside the printing pod. Because... Where are we? Uh, decor overlay. The printing pod has a, a natural decor of plus 45. So if I put the um, manual generator, i.e. The, the duplicate hamster wheel down here, it will give a natural bonus and a natural happiness bonus to the duplicate that has to stand on here and run it, run on it for hours on it. 
Um, same time, I also put the research station nice and close to the same, nice and close to it as well. The other reason is in the thermal overlay, um, the printing pod seems to always be the coolest area. Um, as you can see, you know, green is nice and happy. The ideal temperature is about 21 degrees, but as we work out our way out, we'll either hit hotter or colder biomes. So we've got warmer here, hot here, actually cold here, um, warm, warm, hot, 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 and we're going to have to go out and explore those areas as we get to them. So, priority six, these two. Uh, power, I need a battery as well. Again, priority six. And a bit of wire to join the whole lot together. So, printing pod. Choose a duplicate. <sighs> so we have somebody with plus five creativity. So creative, creativity will let us do um, artwork, which is going to be fairly important. Um, and we have a plus four to creativity. Again, same story, artwork. Um... But you also have, Mima also has a plus five to ranching. Uh, you can't cook, which means their plus three to cooking is absolutely useless. And interior decorator actually takes, gives them the plus three to creative. So they got plus one naturally. Um, compared to Ren, who likes to cook like sig won't do combat uh, combat and can't get diarrhea so mima is actually the best uh i missed the end so we're going to take her on we're going to give her ranching plus five because that is her primary primary stat so we're going to print her out invite her along to join the rest of us and continue from there. So, with power up and running, uh, with power up and running, it means we can get research up and running. Once we've got research up and running, we should be good to actually start moving through, through the tech tree. Um, and we need to look at... Can't be break time already. Oh, you're going to get more copper. I was going to say. Um, yeah, we, get, we can start moving through the tech tree. We've exposed another bit of oxalite down here. Which is a little bit more air for us. And also want to shut off this room. Now. Uh, oxygen overlay. So, as you can see, we built a door here. Which is great. It lets air in and out. At the same time, we built two tiles above it to make a solid room. One thing we can actually do is we can put two doors, one above one another. Now, when you put two doors, one above one another, it lets the air pass through all four tiles at the end of the room rather than just two tiles. So carbon dioxide, you can see it is, is sinking down at the bottom, which will pass out the bottom. But there are gases like hydrogen, which will float to the top. With these tiles here, it means they can't actually float out of the room. They end up being stuck in the top two tiles of the room. If we put two doors, one above one another, that air will automatically be able to pass out. Pass out of the room. Uh, we have our very first duplicate running flat out on the wheel and has fully charged the battery. So, tech tree. Tech tree has all sorts of things we're gonna want and we're gonna need. Very, very, very first thing I recommend is trying to get basic farming up and running, okay? Um, it lets us, the algae to, to, to terrarium lets us create oxygen. Composting lets us deal with the uh, polluted dirt that comes from our outhouses. Um, the planter box lets us plant, um, plant, plant plants to make food. All right, and the ration box is the thing that started right beside um, the printing pod. That is obviously where we store our food. So that's going to be the very, very first thing I always recommend. Then we can come and have a look through all the different parts of, of um, 
of the tech tree and see what we're going to aim for next. Uh, and as you can see, some sand fell down here. So I want dig, priority nine. I want to dig that out because that's probably an entombed battery, which means it doesn't work. Uh, at the same time, we want to look in the uh, priorities tab really, really quickly. And we want to, so you're good at learning. I'm going to give you a very high priority on learning. I want you, um, oh, I'm going to give learning a very high priority on research. And I'm also going to bump the research station up to priority eight. So it means hopefully when it's not nap time and, and meal time and everything else, they're going to run over here and, oh, learning's going to run over here and do research. At the same time, these two tiles got knocked out. So these beds are broken because they obviously fall through the ground. So unfortunately, two people are going to be sleeping on the floor tonight again. Uh, and we'll turn that up and we'll turn that up in prep for, for our next couple of beds. Now, another thing we can actually do is we, we have this room bonus, which I broke because that tile didn't get finished and these tiles didn't get finished but what we can actually do is we can set the door to always be open now you'll know from home that you know there are some doors in your house like your lounge room your living room whatever have a door that's never normally sh kept shut right? um, it's still room as it, is, yeah, as it exists it's always going to be a room but the door always remains open. Same applies here. It's actually going to save you duplicates. Turns out over a large base quite a lot of time. Rather than waiting to open and shut the door. Right, each time I want to walk part, walk through it. Just leaving the doors permanently open. It's probably the same reason you guys leave the doors permanently open in your own house. So we've got research. We've got beds. Um, when this is done we'll have somewhere to... We'll, we'll have the ability to start planting food to be cooked, grown, eaten, all of the above. Uh, actually, want that a high priority as well. And the door, I'm going to set that to an ultra high priority because I just want somebody to come and, and, and open it. Once it's open, it's done. Never have to deal with it again. So, cooking. Learning plus five is not doing the research. Cooking is. So bad. Um, okay, so next thing, as I said, is we want to look at... We want to confirm that we've got our room bonus back. We do. Um, we want to look at trying to set up somewhere to both cook and to eat. I normally recommend right beside where we're sleeping. Seems to be a very, very good spot to try and cook, except the further we go from this printing pod, the warmer it gets. Um, yeah, actually, let's build it down here. So, back to our priorities. We want a priority six. And try not to destroy any natural growing food. So I need a tile here because they can't jump across three tiles. They can only jump across one tile. So I need a tile here that they can jump onto and they can walk across the natural, the natural tiles, the natural material from there on until we get along here. I do not want to kill off either of these mealwood once they reach 100%. Um, that might be a time when I dig them up and then plant them in one of our planter boxes instead. Uh, but we, we need to actually get that far first. So I'm going to set that to priority 9 because I want that done. I don't want to be left in a situation where there is... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. I don't want to risk having our 
losing our room bonus by having one of these tiles missing overnight again. Because the higher the mor morale is, the lower their stress becomes. Um, and I don't want them getting stressed out because stressed out duplicates are not fun to deal with. And this has got to be on, beyond a joke. Obviously, as you can see, they're not getting anything that's priority four. They're just really not getting around to doing, except now they're up here doing stuff. But yeah. <sighs> Whatever. By hatch. Oh, too late. I was hoping to drop him down to. No, he'll eat our food. Maybe not. Let's not drop him down there. Uh, okay. Oxygen. So we have an oxygen diffuser, which is a machine that will bring in algae, this material here, and create oxygen. As you can see, with all the oxalite we've found, we're not exactly short yet, but every base is different. Your, your mileage may vary. So we're actually gonna get one of these in right now, sooner rather than later. And I'm gonna put a power line in. And as you can see, the power line has a decor of minus five with a one tile radius. So if we go back to the decor overlay, you can see we've got 13, 13.5, uh, negative 13.5 because of the wire. Um, and that is the tile that it happens to be in plus the tile above. One of the ways we can negate that a little bit is by taking it down one tile and then through the ground and then back up. It's only a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a, of a uh, change, I guess, in the, um, the debuff rate, but you know, something's better than nothing. Uh, we now got four duplicates, so we really need to actually look at a few more outhouses. And we're going to do these as priority five because they're not super important, but they're a little bit important. Four, five, six. So something we haven't covered yet, we haven't had a deal yet with too much yet, but you can see that we keep blowing out these pretty, pretty, pretty piles of, of, of green puff is there are germs in the map and this is something we're trying to, we're trying to avoid until we have to deal with them um, because some, some of the germs can be actually really, really bad, really, really hard to deal with early game, late game. You can, they, they sort of become a, a much of a muchness. Personal hygiene tends to take care of most of those problems. Um, but I want to put in more, more outhouses. I also want to put in more wash basins and I actually want to remove this tile at the front so we can have that, that, that double wide shaft that we, we have elsewhere. Um, so this was wash basin has to get removed after all this gets built. It's on the list of things that, that I've asked them to do. So research is almost done. Before we do anything else, we'll go back into the tech tree. And really the second thing I recommend is the jobs, the job board. Um, this will give each, this will let each of your special, each of your duplicates have a specialization. With that specialization, we'll um, give them the ability to, to level up. So go from an apprentice to a regular worker to in theory a, a, a master builder or a master chef or a or a whatever um so yeah, this is really the second one i recommend grabbing um but it's given us a couple of choices so we have our planter boxes um, this is exactly as it says it lets you plant stuff now we have blossom seeds which are these ones which also need light uh, and when they're domesticated they also need 20 kilograms of water per cycle so they actually cost a lot of water to keep up running and they need light light either comes from shine bugs if you can convince the shine bugs to hang around the right spot 
or it comes from um, actual light bulbs that you can build, which we don't have access to yet. But we can research them. Um, we have mealwood seeds, which are literally your bread and butter for early, early game. All right. And I have five seeds available. So I've only put down a couple of planar boxes. Um, you know, obviously these two, we're going to dig up sooner or later. So they'll give me another couple. Um, there is meal wood along here. Again, same story. We will dig up more. Along with, we'll cultivate our own seeds as we go. So you want a couple of planter boxes here? Not too many. Um, because there is an upgraded type, which is a uh, plant. Uh, it's, a, it's a farm tile. Which means rather than having to build tiles and work, walk on and then plant a box on top, it becomes a solid one unit item. So you just put them down, they have something to walk on and something to plant in, uh, plant in all at the same time. So we've got oxygen, we've got research, we've got planter boxes going down ever so when they get around to it. Thanks, dupes. Uh, what's next on our list? Um, probably having a look at what, uh, what else we've got. So we've got composting. Compost will let us deal with the polluted dirt that comes out of our outhouses. Um, and in theory, I should be able to put that right. I want to put it right there, but I don't think I can. Okay, so we're going to dump this down here. We're just going to dump it down out of the way. Uh, we have a ration box, which we already have a ration box. Um... And we've added the algae to terrarium. So, the oxygen diffuser, this one up here, right, it brings in 550 grams of algae and gives us 500 grams of oxygen. So we get slightly less oxygen than we bring algae in and it also costs power, quite a bit of power actually, um, 120 watts, running continuously when our little generator only produces 400 watts manual generator 400 watts our research lab uses another 180 watts 200 watts uh, research station uses 60 watts so not a lot um it it all adds up. As you can see, for the first time ever, the batteries are actually flat because this has been running flat out. So I'm actually going to disable this and I'll set it to a high priority so somebody comes up with the switch fairly quickly. Our second option is an algae terrarium. So algae terrarium brings in 30 grams per second of algae and outputs 40 grams per second of oxygen. The catch is it also brings in 300 grams per second of water, so a dupe needs to manually go over and, and pour water in. Um, but it does output most of that water back. Um, so that's something you have to you have to keep in consideration. Um, at the same time, it also chews up carbon dioxide. So all the lovely carbon dioxide that our duplicates are breathing out. This will actually consume it. So, right down here, right as low as we can, because that's where carbon dioxide settles, I actually want to, at a fairly high priority, dig all that up. And I actually want to fill this area with these algae terrariums. So, we're going to have planter boxes. We're going to put in mealwood seeds. Uh, again, high priority. Uh, plant in the first one and then copy and paste all the others. Uh, cancel. So this says I have zero seeds available now. Uh, yep, but we already know we're going to dig up one, two, three, four, five in the not too distant future. Um, Alright. This is our narcoleptic. If you get sick of seeing your narcoleptic laying around doing nothing, literally pick them up, give them a move to until they move one tile they'll be awake. They'll be awake, they'll be up and running. Ranching's now doing research. <sighs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop the priorities for everybody. 
by just one for research. Because our, if, if our research is actually doing it, the pro progress bar slides across faster, which actually means less power used. Um, so that's a ration box. That goes away. Oxygen. How's your terrarium? Eight. Take that out. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get them built eventually. Uh, we've got our composting heat again. It's a low usage item, so I tend to set up with a higher priority, um, just so it's 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 taken care of more regularly. And as you can see, I think learning's coming down here right now. What are you carrying? No, you're just carrying dirt. Okay, so he's going to come build one of those terrariums. So, this will produce our oxygen down here. Um, it also means any carbon dioxide that makes its way all the way down here will also get used up. It does mean that they have to top it up with water. So, we are going to ha go through water a lot faster than we have previously. Uh, I'm going to widen out that as well. And we should probably look at another couple of bits. Uh, furniture, cot. Okay, so at the moment we're really being hampered by research. Because learning five is down here, blundering around, moving stuff around when they should be up here on actual research. So if I move you there, are you actually going to do, oh, he's actually going to do research finally. So yeah, research is a little bit of a slower item. Um, there's nothing you can really do about it. It, it just takes time. Um, the only thing we can do is we can bump up the game speed and have our jukes fly around the area a little bit. Uh, because this is oxygen supply, again, I tend to increase the priority on it just slightly. Um, because it's really sort of important that our duplicates have have air to breathe. But as you can see, we, we, we've put algae in, in most of them. This one's now even got its water. And we're going to produce lots of oxygen down here. And any carbon dioxide that's made its way down here will get destroyed. Turned into not carbon dioxide. Removed entirely. Um, Alright. Oh, research is done. Wow. Okay, so that's led to a jobs board. We just want to dump that absolutely anywhere with as high a priority as possible. And also gave us a water cooler. So a water cooler is a recreational item. Um, it's something they can use in their downtime. And today's work cycle is over. Really knocked out the tile. Duplicates. Um, we're just gonna have to get this done tomorrow. And move our wash basins back. Okay. Uh, research. Okay, research. So we've got our jobs board. Um, now there's lots of things in the tech tree, and we're sort of going to pick and choose where we're going to go. Um, but you know what? I think we can actually do that in the next episode. So. Uh, we didn't get as much done as I'd would have liked, but we have, we do have our oxygen supply up and running. Um, these algae terrariums will pump out hopefully as much oxygen as we can, as, as we'll need for quite some time. Uh, we've also got our, our little temporary farm up and running. We are going to have to get something better in the way of farming going into the future, but we've got something running for the moment. We've got access to the job board, even though it's not built. We'll play with that in the next episode. And um, we've got a composting heat down here. So when we have our um, our excess polluted dirt, I guess the 
polite way of putting it, from our outhouses, it can come down and go into the compost heap. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm going to actually leave it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye!